this is James Seth Lynch, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Today will actually be a talk episode, so yay. Today we are going to talk about EA Origin, Guild Wars 2, and Angry Joe, and his show. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully we can get to Angry Joe. This might need to be a two-part episode. We'll see. Uh, I have been having a lot of issues ever since I started this Let's Play. Uh, with recording and all this and issues with the game and I when I said I, I said earlier that I am not a good modder I, I I'm just not however I'm a good player in that I know how to maintain this game I know how this game runs I know how to diagnose any diagnose and solve any issue that I that might arise when playing this game and when tracking down my issues, such as infant loading screens, and crashes, and a whole bunch of other things, I tracked it down to actually EA's origin program, to where anything running under Steam, and Steam itself will not operate correctly when, e when origin is active. Seriously, I... <laughs> I have to turn it off. Uh, I, I usually have been turning it off, but now I realize just how bad the problem actually is. That it really attempts to sabotage Steam. Okay. And, yeah. Uninstall this crap off your computer. Don't play any game that requires Origin. Okay? Just this alone shows you should not have it on your computer. When it sabotages other programs, that's stuff that viruses do. That this is not it, it, just no, no. Uninstall it. I already did. So yeah. Now, Guild Wars 2. I recently bought this game. Uh, I've been playing it for. I have four characters. Two of them aren't even past level two. But anyway, uh, uh, th there's some uh, people. People who rate this game either give it a very, very high rating or extremely low rating. So basically, everyone seems to either love it or hate it. They think it's the best thing ever or a complete flop. And I'm going to tell you the sad, shocking truth that the big companies don't want you to know. This game is amazing. Guild Wars 2 is an amazing game. And it's the reason, it's the reason uh, these episodes have been delayed lately. Uh, I said I would let my computer calm down from being on constantly uploading to YouTube, but lately it's been playing Guild Wars 2. So, <laughs> yeah. This game solves... It, it, it solves so many issues that MMOs like World of Warcraft have. And it does it in a, in a way that I'm not surprised that people... Uh, that the people have been giving it a bad rating because it's not just fanboyism it's that people just cannot realize how innovative these changes are in the world of MMOs like I'm seeing things like well there's no end game and thus the grind to the top levels is useless complaints like this and that's just it's so <laughs> unbelievable when you think about it because in Guild Wars 2, it is not about grinding to the max level. It isn't. Uh, it's about playing and enjoying the game. Enjoying playing every single minute of it. Because you can actually do that. This is the first MMO where you can actually just enjoy. You don't have to sit there and zombie out. It is incredibly fun. See, the gameplay is skill-based. Despite the whole, yes, it has auto-attack, it has auto-target. You can actually turn off auto attack. In fact, some skills work better when you manually use them. And skills can be used very well outside of auto attacking because and, and auto targeting because it's a physics based collision and projectile hit whatever system. You don't have to it, it's not all done in the math behind and the scene when you have when you're targeting an enemy. And again, there's the dodge, and a big part of this game is 
uh, of the game's combat is opportunity and reaction time. Many skills can be used with just that precise moment can save your life and turn the tide of battle. It's extremely skill based. And the game is actually a lot like Fallout. It's what I thought Skyrim would be. Because if you're not familiar with, with that, you have no idea what I'm talking about. People like me who came to Bethesda RPGs from, fall, from the Fallout franchise thought that Skyrim would be basically Fallout in a fantasy genre, a fantasy genre type game. And it frankly wasn't. And that's why I, uh, that's that would cause my initial dislike of the game but I won't get into that and, and again people talk well it's the same quest it's like fetch quests and kill the boss and and uh, escort this guy yeah look at the look at the quest we've been doing lately kill nine geckos collect a flower and a root from over there and over there and collect and take them to this person. Activity in games is extremely simple. But they're fun because of all that fluff and the thing and dialogue and all that stuff that just makes them fun. You would never look at what I did in the, the tutorial and what I did in anywhere in in its most simplistic manner as to what it really is. And that's the problem with MMOs. It's just doing simple, stupid things. And, yeah, in, in Guild Wars 2, quests happen like this. Uh, it starts out with a group of people arguing over this person was drunk and this person missed the Great Hunt. And then they go and take a whole bunch of players with them and they hunt this gigantic freaking worm and they actually talk about and put some backstory on events and enemies that your player that your character has um, has seen and fought earlier in the game and I don't know why I got up there and then and then the quest shifts to oh well let's gather some eggs from these worm monsters and so you're gathering eggs from this tunnel filled with all these crazy worm monsters. And you can just pick them up as basic inventory items and then you shovel them all to her. And then she takes them back. And then the lodge is attacked by a swarm of uh, worm monsters. And you have to defend the lodge at all costs. And in the end, that girl who uh, suggested we let, let collect the eggs that start all this begs, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I will make this up to you, I'm so sorry I endangered the lodge and all these people, and then he just says, <laughs> are you kidding? That was awesome! I haven't had this much fun in so long! Ah, uh, now where's the mead? That is, that is literally what happened, that's what happened to me yesterday. And stuff like this happens all the time in the game. It is incredibly fun, each quest has story, and it's story you can actually keep track of. Unlike World of Warcraft, where you can't keep track of anything. I still have no idea what I was doing at any time, at any point, during that uh, four months I was playing World of Warcraft before I quit playing. Okay? There's just so much I could go on about this game. But I, all I will say is this. If you like MMOs, you have to buy this game. Because, really, 60 bucks, play as much as you want. And the whole microtransaction thing, that can be completely ignored. It only, it's stuff only really, really hardcore players would want. The people who will be playing this game for years and years. And at that point, you really should think about giving them a bit more money. <laughs> okay? The microtransaction system can be ignored. It's just 60 bucks, play as much as you want. If you like RPGs, you should definitely look into this, as it is a good RPG, unlike other MMOs. It's v the story is very immersive, to a point that I was just amazed at how good it was. It's not that, oh, uh, it's not that they have a bunch of people that have these little 
exclamation marks above your head, and then you talk to them and give them a quest. No, people actually walk up to you and say, Hey, hey, can you come over here? I have a job for you. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah, if you like RPGs, definitely look into this. The trait system that they have is something I've never seen in an RPG before. It's very, very, very good. So, yeah, open world RPGs, the exploration is great in this game. Look into it. Uh, if, but again, if you are not into MMOs, just completely don't like the concept of them in any way, uh, then of course don't get the game. But if you simply never liked any MMOs you play, look into this game. You might like it. And, uh, yeah, the, the, I have a lot more I could talk about this game, but I won't. Just, it's a good game. It's the first good MMO ever. Okay. <laughs> Go see uh, Angry Joe's uh, review of this game. He pretty much sums it up. Actually, he doesn't even sum it up. There's just so much good this game has. So, uh, anyway, now we go to Angry Joe. The Angry Joe show, he's in, seems to be an independent game raider guy. Uh, I don't always agree with his ratings, such as for Mass Effect 3 and Skyrim. Eh, he's not really the hard, he's not really the hardcore gamer type. But, you can trust him whenever he says a game is bad. I will count him for that. He's very, very good at that. He understands when a game sucks. And for the most part, he's a great guideline for... He, he's at least a decent guideline for the good games. He definitely hit the nail on the head with his first 10 out of 10 being Guild Wars 2. And, of course, for really, I don't even have to explain this guy. I'm sure everyone knows about Angry Joe. And, uh, despite uh, having planned something to say about him, I actually don't remember what the hell I was going to say just from ranting about Origin and uh, talking about Guild Wars 2. But, seriously, play, uh, try, try Guild Wars 2 out and uninstall Origin. Uninstall it. Don't buy any game that has anything to do with Origin. Ever. And now that this is done, uh, we will continue on uh, into the next episode. So, bye!